Four decades ago, there were striking global disparities in access to vaccines to protect children from deadly diseases. In 1980, only 4% of Afghanistan's population had received all three doses of the vaccine against diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus. In the United Republic of Tanzania, 59% of the population had been fully immunized against the three diseases. But in middle-income country Chile, that percentage was 93, and in the high-income United States, it was 96%. There were two main reasons for this. Vaccines were too expensive for many governments in low-income countries to purchase, and the systems for distributing the vaccines to remote or underserved populations were weak. Over the next three decades, international organizations, governments, civil society groups, and the private sector cooperated to lower the cost of vaccines and strengthen countries' ability to deliver them. By the mid-2010s, immunization coverage was more equitable. By 2015, DTP3 coverage had risen to 98% in Afghanistan and Tanzania. But the emergence of COVID-19 in early 2020 created multiple obstacles to sustaining progress on global immunization access. With transportation routes blocked and entire countries under quarantine, the delivery of vaccines and supplies in some areas was delayed. Healthcare workers who might normally have administered vaccines were diverted to outbreak response. People have been afraid to go to clinics out of fear of being infected with coronavirus. By May of 2020, surveys and anecdotal reports suggested that routine immunization services were being delayed in some countries. With more than 100 million cases of COVID-19, it's estimated that up to 150 million people will be pushed into poverty by the end of 2021. In the spring of 2020, governments, private foundations, and multilateral organizations launched the Access to COVID-19 Tools Accelerator, known as the ACT Accelerator, to facilitate the international development and rapid deployment of diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccines to respond to the pandemic. COVAX is the ACT Accelerator's vaccine arm. The COVAX facility negotiates prices with vaccine manufacturers and ensures that vaccines will be affordable and available to the countries that choose to join it. At least 186 countries have decided to join the COVAX facility to secure vaccines for their populations once they are available. These include self-financing countries and lower income countries, which will receive support for vaccine purchases through the Advanced Market Commitment, or AMC. Under the AMC, wealthier countries and other donors provide funding to ensure lower income countries can access the new vaccines at the same time as the middle and high income ones. On January 21st, the United States announced that it would join the COVAX facility, in addition to an earlier $4 billion commitment to Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, as part of its December 2020 Congressional Spending Package. It seems likely that any COVID-19 vaccine will go to adults rather than children at first, so immunization programs, which are usually focused on children, will need to be adapted to provide services to an older population. At the same time, the new vaccines may have different storage and transportation requirements. While there are still many unknowns, having strong immunization systems in place will continue to protect people against vaccine-preventable diseases and facilitate a smooth rollout of a COVID-19 vaccine for all affected populations.